Alright, what is up guys? My name is Brian and I work with an artist named of Kloofy. Before we start, what do you think about the shirt? <laughs> now is Hunter x Hunter my favorite anime? No, it's not. It's Tokyo Pool, but I mean it's still pretty awesome I think. But yeah, moving on. So, I have a project pulled up here. It's actually an EDM song. Uh, I just made it. Well, I didn't just make it. I made it a couple weeks ago. I was working like bit by bit and I finished. So yeah, today I'm just going to do a breakdown of it. Alright, so pretty much all this is like what the beat is and then this is like the master version that I like mastered on a separate project. So let me just play that for you guys real quick. So yeah, very energetic, totally different from lo-fi vibes. Sorry if you're looking for more chill vibes, but I don't know. I've been just stuck in this whole like EDM loop recently. I think it's like the summer vibes. I'm like back in like summer 2016 with the Chase Smokers and Zed vibe. But yeah, so this is what I made. So let me do the breakdown for you guys. So pretty much the whole project started with just the piano. It's a very simple chord progression. And uh, let me play it for you guys. It's pretty much just a G chord, A, B, very stereotypical, like ascending chord progression. And then I used, because I usually use the Labs soft piano, but for this one, I just wanted something energetic. So I used the pop piano from Keyscape. And then the bass, I don't know. I just wanted to set more of the EDM vibe. So I put the bass in right away. It's the GMS Nails. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I use this bass a lot, even for my lo-fi beats, but just the gradiness of this bass really fits well. So bass is just following the root notes. It sounds like like this. So if you guys notice, there's like a, it's kind of like dipping in and out the volume and that's because I have Kickstart on it. Kickstart is a sidechain plugin. Sidechain is just kind of like a wavy thingy. I don't know. I don't really know actually but it just kind of makes the wavy effect. That's how I know it. So after I put that in, actually, I didn't start making this until after I put in these vocal chops. So this vocal chop is from the Euphoria vocal sample pack by Cymatics. It's a free kit. So if you guys want to go grab it, go for it. This is not a sponsor or anything. I don't think Cymatics even knows I exist. So it's a free vocal chop from that pack and it sounds like this. Yeah, so if you guys notice, I have two versions here. So this is the normal one that was in the pack, and then this one is the one that I brought down an octave lower. So I would use this for the intro and also to support the original vocal chop. After that, I knew this was going to be like an EDM song. It has all the energy. So after that, I grabbed a synth. I used layer chords from GMS. Sounds like this. So yeah, it's pretty much just following, oh wait, I have two patterns. So this one is just following the chords from the piano. Yeah, so that's following the chords from the piano that's for the intro and then the one you heard before was the main one for the drop. I just added a lot more notes on the top so it, you know, drops better. This is the lead, it's from Omnisphere, it sounds like this. So yeah, like very like spacey yet still like clear, just, just good EDM vibes I feel like. So I use that for the lead. And then I have the drums, so I've made a separate drum pattern just so I can show you guys everything together. But the drums sound like this. The drums are from the Utopia kit from Cymatics. It's also a free kit, so if you guys want to go grab it, go for it. Again, this is not a sponsored video. They have a lot of free packs. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, as you notice, the kick is, you know, super hard hitting. The snare is, you know, it's kind of like 
echoey in a sense and then the hi-hat is just full of energy so pretty much for the first part of the drop i actually did just a kick in the snare no hi-hats and then after the vocal chops go away i bring in the hi-hats and then these are just like crashes and risers and faders. But yeah, let's go over the structure. So pretty much for the first part, I have just the piano and the lower part of the uh, vocal chop. So it sounds like this. And then as you guys notice over here, I have automations. So automation is like something you can control. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, so it's making it so that the volume is slowly increasing. So it starts from here and then goes to like, this percent and then the EQ. So I cut off a lot of the high frequencies in the beginning. So it's like, it's kind of like a filter that's slowly like going away. So as you guys notice from like this part to like this part, it's just like more clear cause there's no like filter on this part pretty much. I have the piano and the vocal chop and then I start bringing in the synth so it sounds like this. So yeah, this part is the second synth that I showed you that's just following the chords from the piano and then I have the riser and the crash and then this is where it hits for the drop. So as you guys notice, the volume changes are really like different, which is why I had to make a separate like project to like master it and limit. I never limit my beats, but this one I had to because the volume difference is so big. Like it's obvious like the difference in the amount of instruments I'm using is very big. Yeah, I had to do that. So this is like the drop. So pretty much I have the kick and the snare, no hi-hats, like I said before, the synth and then the main vocal chop. So it sounds like this again. And then after this part, I have this part, which is I take the vocal chops away and then I bring in the lead. So it sounds like this. And then I pretty much keep the same things over here. I bring in the vocal chop again. So it sounds like this. And then this part, it's pretty much just the same thing, but I also brought in the lower vocal chop to support the main one. So it sounds like this. It's like a subtle difference thing, but I don't know. I just thought I'd try to add something more so it doesn't sound completely the same as this part. And then pretty much I do one more part with no vocal chops, just the lead. Yeah, so you heard that before. And then this part is just the outro, which is just piano the lower vocal chop again, and then I'm just fading everything out. So it sounds like this. But yeah, that's it for the breakdown pretty much. The song is finished and I actually have it on SoundCloud but it's on private right now. Um, by the time this video goes up, I will make it public. It is the song called Innocence. So if you want to go check out the full beat, it will be on SoundCloud. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry this wasn't the chill low five eyes if that's what you wanted. But you know, I just wanted to make something that was a little more energetic. Hope you guys still enjoyed what you saw. Maybe this was helpful if you're trying to branch out to different genres. But yeah. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.